I've been getting a ton of comments telling me to do another video on the Walgren twins because it was around this time last year that Vanessa Jang on Twitter posted that the draft in Vancouver in 2019 had two identical Swedish twins from Modo who were eligible. And I made a video about them, Yol and Max Walgren. I titled it, quote unquote, The Next Sedines, and it was kind of a clickbaity kind of thing. But today, one year later, I decided to give an update because the Walgrens have just finished up their draft years and things aren't necessarily looking too good when it comes to their draft stocks, especially for one of the Walgrens in particular. Both Yol and Max Walgren played this season for the Modo Junior 20 Club in the Super Elite. This is the same league that Alexander Holtz, Lucas Raymond, and Noel Gundler tore up. This is the same league that Albin Greva had 1.3 points per game in. The Walgren twins, Yol and Max, both standing at 6 feet and hovering around 180 pounds, didn't have nearly as identical of a production line as they did last year. Last year, both of the Walgrens got roughly the same amount of points playing for Modo's Junior 18 team in the Junior 18 Osvenskan and the Junior 18 Elite. They had very similar numbers, and a lot of people were saying, okay, maybe they're gonna be having the exact same trajectory going into their draft years and into the future, right? Because they're identical twins. They're born on the same day. This is basically the same story as Henrik and Daniel Sedin, right? Well, things were kind of different. Because playing for Moto's Junior 20 team in the Super Elite, Joel Walgren had 18 points in 45 games played, and Max Walgren had 38 points in 42 games played. Max Walgren has taken such a big step up against his twin brother that if you look at the scouting report, NHL Central Scouting has Max Walgren as the 45th European skater and Joel Walgren is 125th. He's dropped off and it feels really bad to look at. In terms of future considerations, Max Walgren is 165th by future considerations, and they have Joel Walgren at 221st. So, you can see right away just the discrepancy in terms of these two brothers and their draft stock and their updates in terms of league play. Just to put things into perspective, Max Walgren had around the same points per game as projected late first, early second round pick Simon Holmstrom this year. Now obviously, the guys at the top of the list, Noel Gundler, Raymond, and Holtz, those are going to be amazing guys next year, but Max Walgren is kind of hovering around that range that could potentially get drafted maybe towards the middle of the draft, third round, fifth round. But his brother Joel Walgren really isn't in that boat. In fact, he's far from it, even in regards to the international tournaments. Max Walgren made Sweden's U18 team at the U18s. He had two assists in seven games played. Joel Walgren wasn't selected. So overall, things are kind of weird, and the discrepancy is really starting to show up, which is very strange considering people were kind of projecting similar draft years, especially since their draft minus ones were both pretty similar. So going into the future, I have no idea what's going to happen to Yol and Max Walgren. It wouldn't surprise me if Yol wasn't drafted at all because Max certainly has the numbers to be drafted, considering he was just under a point per game as a 17-year-old playing in a U20 league. So I think the dream of having two Swedish twins from Modo getting drafted into the NHL by the same team, I don't think it's happening again. At least not this year, because who knows, there could probably be some Swedish twins coming in in the future, but... The Sedines are the only ones, at least the ones that look like they're going to pan out. Because the Walgrens, if they're able to develop chemistry together, they're both listed as centers and wingers, so they could both play basically any forward position. They could probably do something. I mean, Max is pretty good, but Yol isn't. But Yol literally has the genes to become a good player too, so I have no idea what's going on with this production. One interesting thing to note, though, is that Yol Walgren 
and Max Walgren both got 65 plus penalty minutes this season. Max had 67, Joel had 66. So despite the fact that Joel Walgren wasn't putting up the same amount of points as Max Walgren was, Joel was getting the same amount of penalty minutes too, which is very interesting to note. They were actually first and second in their team in terms of penalty minutes, so these two are pretty good at disturbing the game, it looks like. So going into the next few years, whether it's in the Allsvenskan full-time or staying with the U20 league in the Super Elite, who knows what the future has for the Walgren twins, but the Sedin-like dream that we had a year ago doesn't look like it's coming into fruition. Joel Walgren just doesn't seem to be good enough, but Max... He seems alright, but who knows, they have the same genes, Yul could honestly out of nowhere just become good, so I hope that does happen, because having two identical twins that are Swedish from Moto in the NHL would be pretty good. It's something that I think I would like to see again. Hope you enjoyed this video, social gaming, and bye.